Chen Lemulo, a noted Baloyi, has become a somewhat menacing personality on the internet over the past two years. While his career has been filled with accolades that showcase his talent and drive, he can't resist the temptation of social media comments that apparently have made him one of South Africa's most notorious internet trolls. While there are some mysteries surrounding his childhood and how he became an artist, he started his music career as a rapper. He has released several tepid pieces, including Sfizel, Karima, and Preacher featuring Quester. Although he refers to himself as one of South Africa's hip-hop pioneers, Beloyi is best known for his work as a music executive. Read rapper K.O. slaps Nota Beloyi on gag order after aka links during his time in this role, he was responsible for the rise of one of the country's most popular rap talents, Questa, whose name is Senso Vilikazi. At the time, he was the director of two record labels and his own label, Sofet Urbantainment. He was also, unsurprisingly, the head honcho of The Orchard, a subsidiary of Sony Music Entertainment. While Boloi should be better known for his work in entertainment industry, he apparently can't escape the law of internet, he's uploaded a lot of viral videos that haven't really put him in good standing. Here are some of Nota Baloyi's internet crimes Bella Milali vs Nemes It seems that award-winning content creator and beautician Milali Nemes is living rent-free in Baloyi's mind as she can't get her name out of her mouth. It all started in June last year with a piece of video released by one of the Nemes fans. Baloyi continued to compare Nemes to an animal he could buy and said he didn't find it attractive at all. He even hinted that he might kill her because it would belong to him. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only time Baloyi attacked the influencer. In October, Baloyi belittled her mother on Twitter, saying she was more attractive than Nemes and implying that she had plastic surgery. He tweeted my mother's body is better than Milali without plastic surgery. My mother is 65 years old, but she makes sure that my father has the same shape as 39 years ago. My mom is 65 and besides doing yoga every morning, she goes to the gym three days a week. My dad is 70 years old and can't run a block. It's time for Baloyi to stop humiliating and harassing Nemes. Barita is bidding the country was shocked when Afrosoul singer Gagulethu Kumalo, better known by her stage name Barita, married Baloyi in a private ceremony in 2020. The two have become one of South Africa's most notable couples, but to break up less than a year later, a decision Kumalo was happy to make but I can only imagine. They announced their split in a deleted Twitter thread in July. He detailed their struggles in their marriage and revealed that they have been separated since January 13 last year. She also revealed that she had to leave her marriage because she feared for her safety. I remained silent because my safety was a major concern. This man is extremely irresponsible, reckless and rebellious. He just doesn't listen to anyone. I do not condone their actions. I can't even begin to count how many mistakes he made in his speech, Kumalo tweeted. She apparently missed some huge red flags before marrying Baloyi, who says needs help because she says has mental health issues. Luckily he cut his losses, said goodbye, and is alive today to tell the story. Nota vs Moozialai This was probably one of the most unexpected problems in the entertainment industry in recent years. Last July was a busy month for Baloi, who made headlines for rubbing rapper and TV presenter Nomuzi Mabina, better known as Muzli, in the wrong direction. The beef started when Mabina finally got tired of Baloi's online antics. This was after Baloi made derogatory comments about her romantic relationship with Nemes and businessman Leroy Sedambi, insulted black women, and questioned their sanity. She even criticized media personality Lasizwi Dembuza for her friendship with Samizi Mlongo's ex-husband, Moholi Motanang. According to a brief article, Mabine took to Instagram and shared her anger with these words something about me, will pray for a human nay, but Levidinota I will definitely slap him in the face next time see him. Despite his violent rhetoric about women, he also scolded his fans for continuing to support him. 
Release aka Tio rest in peace it seems Baloyi is the only one who can't quite grasp the idea of letting someone rest in peace. After the rapper was shot in Durban last month, Kiernan aka took on the role of Forbes unofficial spokesperson. In days after Forbes, a Twitter user posted a video in which Baloyi said women in the industry were not giving enough support to rapper after his lesson. U-I-N-G-E-S you ing female celebrities you want cairo to grow up without a father you don't say anything you all ing female celebrities all of you he said in the one minute video he would later reveal his own suspicions about who killed forbes after conducting his own investigation beloy blamed forbes friends who were with him at the durban restaurant when he was assassinated Read Nota Pay Shimza at 200 for calling him a corrupt doll this immediately sent him into hiding. He said believed he was a marked man and that wouldn't be safe after Forbes named his supposed assassins. Looks like Beloyi has a world of time to do anything but work. It's unclear whether his antics are a sign that he's embarking on a professional career as an internet troll or whether these are early signs of someone in need of psychological intervention. Only time will tell what happens to the man who has become arguably one of South Africa's most obnoxious, misogynistic and abusive internet trolls.